Même si je suis putain franc, j'ai encore au téléphone. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C4 ah. bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bomb? Non mais j'en ai déjà trouvé une. Hein, euh, Take this pas problème. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4 ah, okay. scent. Okay. That's right. I have established a link up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense <laughs> wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which exact. one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating him. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation mm -hmm. of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's, it's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're Merci, spotted? Captain Obvious. Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. 
Big shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity Three. out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two, a total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Take this. What's this? Security card issued to Shell personnel. Ah, c'est. On va donc pouvoir enfin ouvrir donc la fameuse porte qu'on avait vue tout à l'heure de niveau 1. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Raiden, your card voilà. key can open Dans tous les MGS, il y a toujours ces ce systèmes de cartes, enfin tous les Metal Gear tout court même, il y a toujours ce système de cartes d'accès. You needed to get next door to Shell 2. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. <laughs> All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Yeah. Right. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, <laughs> I'd put my money on you. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. <laughs> Bien, Maître, uh, Maître Stillman. Bon, <coughs> eh ben, je crois qu'on a dépassé les à peu près une heure que je m'étais fixé pour cette session. Euh, ou alors on y est, simplement. Donc voilà, donc là on est dans l'été C, le Dining Hall. Et bah on va, je pense qu'on va s'arrêter... On va s'arrêter là, je vais juste explorer peut-être un petit peu. Commencer peut-être à désactiver au moins la... Non, pas la première bombe parce que sinon ça va être chiant, il va y avoir encore de discussion tout ça. Donc, on va juste activer le node. On va fouiller un peu pour trouver peut-être munitions, rations ou autre. Et on se quittera là-dessus parce que, bah, là pour la suite, honnêtement, j'ai la flemme. Alors, ça c'est bon. Alors, ah, 
Il y a une ration déjà là-dessous. Voilà. Putain, mais on laisse pas bouffer, euh, laissez la bouffe par terre, merde Ouais, de toute façon, j'ai même plus de place pour les rations, donc ça c'est fait. Ça j'ai fait, hein. Et là-dessous, il y a quoi Rien. Euh, bah parfait. Alors, <coughs> eh ben... Euh... Euh, ouais, 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 euh, ouais, d'accord. Ouais, ouais, euh, ok. <coughs> bon, alors, donc, on va se regarder là. Hop. What's up, Jack? On va juste sauvegarder, simplement. Voilà. Comme ça on reprendra plus tard euh, à ce moment-là direct. Hop. On va voir combien de temps j'ai mis au niveau de la sauvegarde. Ah ouais, exact, ça fait bien euh, ouais, ça fait bien une heure. Jack, when you get home, let's have a homecoming party. Just the two of us. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ouais, ça, ça sent les trucs glauques, ça je vais couper, hein, voilà. <rire> voilà, bon. donc sur ce, bah écoutez, euh, merci d'avoir déjà vu cette première partie donc du second chapitre, du second gros chapitre donc de Metal Gear Solid 2, donc euh, la partie de la Big Shell. Donc euh, n'hésitez pas à aimer, commenter, vous abonner, tout ça. Et on se retrouve donc la prochaine fois pour la suite de l'aventure. Allez, à plus tout le monde!